Yeah, all that love takes its toll, Very much doesn't love. it? Great yeah, to see love. that Big Ted's got yeah. a new lease of life. Yeah. I'm devastated for you, Lewis, though. You told me Roland Rat <laughs> yeah, got he went, lost. He went everywhere with me, took him everywhere, and then one day I left him on the bus and he just went off into the distance, never to be seen again. <laughs> yeah, I was 21. As we all know, you've got to buy duplicates, haven't you? Let's move on to the weather. You bought some duplicates, didn't you? Yes, I bought six for my daughter. Yeah, um, unfortunately, they're not looking so good at the moment. No, let's take a look at the, the weather pictures. Quite a lot of cloud today, photographed in Newtown on the Isle of Wight. But look at this, a BBC bauble. I've never seen one of those before. That photograph was taken in Fareham. So through the course of today, we've had a good deal of clouds. Some outbreaks of patchy rain. We'll continue to see that patchy rain as we head through the course of this evening and overnight tonight, with a band of heavier rain arriving during the early hours of the morning. So tomorrow there will be some rain. It will clear first thing in the morning. Some brightness will develop in some areas, but not for everyone. Now overnight tonight, patchy drizzle initially. There is a brisk sound westerly breeze then we see that band of rain start to push in from the west that could be heavy as we head towards dawn and temperatures will range between 11 and 12 celsius so well above their seasonal average during the overnight period that band of rain will slowly clear the southeastern corner tomorrow morning once it does a fair amount of cloud will follow it but some brighter skies will develop through tomorrow afternoon so maybe some sunshine late sunshine on offer before the sun sets quite quickly we're looking at highs tomorrow of 11 to 13 celsius Temperatures are still above their seasonal average. For the coastal forecast tomorrow, from Selseybill to Lyme Regis, the winds are northwesterly, backing west three or four, occasionally six later, and the sea state is slight or moderate. So tomorrow night, quiet initially. In fact, we will see fairly cool temperatures tomorrow night, but the breeze should keep any frost at bay. Temperatures will fall away to around three to four Celsius, but cloud will start to spill in first thing on Wednesday morning. So Wednesday starts on a fairly bright note. Then the cloud starts to increase from the west. We could see some low cloud, maybe some hill fog in places. Coastal mist is a possibility. A lot of cloud during the day, limited brightness. Patchy drizzle can't be ruled out as well. So we are going to see a good deal of cloud during the course of this week but there will be some bright or sunny spells maybe some brightness around on thursday the odd shower is a possibility it's a better day on friday maybe after a cloudy start sunny spells breaking through but temperatures are still above their seasonal average into the weekend saturday maybe some patchy rain that's christmas eve on sunday we will see some patchy rain as well but at the moment christmas day should be mainly dry in the morning there is a potential for some rain to move in during the afternoon but that's still a few days off and things can change in that time joe no snow for us then. Thanks no. very much, Alexis. <laughs> well, that's all from us uh, this evening. Thanks very much for your company. I'll be back with our late news at half past ten and Sally will be here with you for South Today tomorrow. And of course, you can keep up to date on the BBC News website as well. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.